This episode of Film Riot is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Riot, we open up Adobe Premiere and answer what we've already answered. Hey, you guys. Hi. I don't feel like saying that opening bit that I usually say, so, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna... Instead, watch this. Your body is like a mountain of ashes. Life is a lie, filled completely with glorious colors. The doors of wisdom open before you. Free yourselves, because Nirvana approaches soon. Approaches soon. So since I made my angry outburst episode about the new Final Cut 10, which I prefer to refer to as Final Cut X for good reason. What's happening here? What's this all about? It all seems like a nightmare. Anyway, since that episode, I have been getting asked, what will I do now? Will I stay with Final Cut 7? Move to another program? Like this question, for instance. Ryan, what will you do now? Stay with Final Cut 7 or move to another program? You know, in hindsight, I see that there was really no reason to show that question. Answer the question, I'm currently testing some options to decide what I'm going to make the jump to. I know for sure that I am not staying with Final Cut Pro. I held out as long as I could, hoping that they were going to catch back up to the game and remain the best, but they've left far too many things behind and seem to be heading in the direction of prosumer. <sighs> Right now I'm trying Adobe Premiere CS 5.5 and so far it has been very easy to switch to and way faster than I'm used to. Since Final Cut Pro 7 only uses 2.5 gigs of RAM, I've seen a huge increase in speed for playback and render times. Now, I was a huge fan of Final Cut Pro for about six years. For me and most of the industry, there was nothing better. So now making this necessary move is like giving up my rude bratty child for adoption and then getting a new one which is like this sweet, really good kid that always like gets the newspaper for me, even though I don't want it, but it's so sweet, so I read it. And since I'm a long time Final Cut user, the easiest and most logical switch is to Adobe Premiere. So I decided to give it a shot. I have been editing my action short losses on it, and I gotta say, so far I really like it. There is some stuff that I had to get used to, but overall it's been a super simple transition. Unlike Apple, Adobe doesn't seem egotistical and seems to really care about their product and their customers. Can you imagine that? And they have gone out of their way to make the switch from Final Cut Pro a painless one. So first of all, Adobe Premiere can import your Final Cut Pro projects. Yeah, the new version of Final Cut can't open your old Final Cut projects, but Adobe can. Just makes me giggle, but like an angry, pissed off giggle at Apple. Like, f*** you, Apple, I hope there's a worm in you. Does that make... <laughs> Doing this is super easy. You just open the project in Final Cut, export XML, choose either version four or five, and then open that in Adobe Premiere. Done and done. Then on top of that, you can easily switch your hotkeys from the Adobe Premiere set to the Final Cut Pro hotkeys that you're used to. And that is done by going to Premiere, keyboard shortcuts, and click here, and then select Final Cut Pro 7. Done and done yet again. And you can also customize whatever other hotkeys you want to here. Another huge upside for me, and would be for a lot of you as well, since a lot of you use DSLRs, is that Premiere can work with DSLR footage natively. So no more need to convert your footage before you start to work, which for me, that is a huge and much needed time saver. It also deals with effects within the software much better and can play a lot of the effects real time without rendering and has dynamic link to After Effects. So for instance, with the sketch we did on Monday, when I was working in Final Cut Pro, I would have had to have rendered out my clip, then bring that into After Effects to do my work, then render that out again to bring back to Final Cut Pro. And if there are any problems, I would have to go back to After Effects, re-render, re-bring back into Final Cut Pro. But now in Premiere, I can go to the clip I need to add effects to, right click it, select replace with After Effects composition, and then the program sends my clip to After Effects. Now in After Effects, I can do my effects work, then hit save, then move back to Premiere, and what I did in After Effects is now uploaded here. I love this so, so much. There's a crap load of upsides like the enormous speed boost and not that many downsides that I've been able to find yet, though there have been some like the timeline has taken some getting used to. Although it's very similar, it feels a little less solid and there's no plugin for widescreen bars like Final Cut Pro has. And I use that all the time, so I have to get ghetto with it to get those bars. It's a little annoying. I've looked for a third party plugin, but I've yet to find one. So I don't know if any of you know of one, Tweet that bad boy too. But there you go, my quick overview of Premiere. As I use it more and get more used to it, I'll give you guys some more looks at it. But so far, if you're looking for a move away from Final Cut, I would highly recommend CS 5.5. And no, they don't sponsor the show at all. I just, it's what I really think.
Domain.com is owning the competition just like Emily owns Josh. Our Film Riot fans are making Domain.com one of the fastest growing domain registrars in the world. If you're setting up a website to show off pictures of your cat, brag about your mad SFX skills, or do something more business related, Domain.com is the best place to buy a domain name for your new idea. Domain.com's easy checkout process makes it simple to find your domain name and set up your website without the hassle. Domain.com's domain discovery system quickly shows you available names, making it easy to select the domain's extension that's right for you. Find a sweet .com or get a .co and save a character. Already have a domain somewhere else? It's cool. Transfer your domain to Domain.com for only $7.61 and get an extra year free. The guys at Domain.com are huge fans of FilmRite and want to hook up our FilmRiot army. So use the coupon code FilmRite and get 15% off your next domain purchase or transfer. That's only, uh, what? $6.47 for domain transfers. That's mathematics right there. So don't forget, when you think domain names, think Domain.com. Logo. I get asked a lot to cover things on Film Riot that we have already covered, which is understandable since we have something like 125 episodes now. So I thought, hey me, to which I responded, yes, what is it? We should do a segment where we show where to find some of these old golden nuggets. Ha! I responded, golden nuggets, that makes me think of poop. First up, hey Rye, you think you could do an episode on audio and different mics? Playa, we already did that sh in fact, we did a whole month on audio, so check this episode. Oh, well, this mother so. Oh, well, this mother flippin' loving episode. Ain't no thing but a mother loving chicken wing. I wanted to do some Dudley shots, but don't have cash to buy one. You think you could show how to build one on the show? Mother father, we did that too. Check the F out of this epilicious, and Dolly move to your heart's desire. Talk on the desire of your hearts, friend. Hold on. I like that beat. Right guy, do you think you could show how to make fake blood on the show? I don't think I can. I know I can't because I already did that. Check this so sexy it makes a man pregnant episode. Learn yourself how to make more fake blood than a college student makes regrets on spring break. We call that social commentary. Drops the mic. Walks off. Logo. Hey, time to say goodbye so I can go fishing for compliments, which is better than regular fishing because you don't have to get up early, get bit by flies or smell fishy for the rest of the day. Plus you feel good. So hey, follow me on Twitter, that'd be fun, and uh, check out our Facebook, which is fun too. And before I forget, if you haven't seen it, check out Red 3's very own Dan Trachenberg's short film, No Escape. It's based off the Portal universe, and it's freaking awesome. So go here to this link, watch it, and enjoy. But I'll see you crazy peeps next week when I fly around the world backwards to revive my lady friend, who I am so sick of saving all the time.